Welcome back to another episode of Clipper Shopping at the Barber Plug. You did some major damage with Brooke. Yeah, what, what, what we looking like? We gotta stop playing around. We gotta stop playing around. This is Andy. Minute promises, 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 minute promises. Yeah, am I right? Yes, sir. Come on now. I'm your host, The Barber Brooks, and today we're back in our flagship store in the heart of Dallas, Texas. We're getting to welcome a super special guest today. She's a master stylist, master barber, S&P queen, and global ambassador. She's joining us all the way from Miami here to Dallas, Texas, and she goes by the name of Mrs. Allison Cutts. Hello, hello. Doing great. Thank you for having me. Super excited to have you out here in Dallas. How does it feel to be back in your home state? Super cool. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Originally from El Paso, correct? Correct. So have you been to Dallas often? I have. I've been here about two times. Okay, awesome. Well, we're super lucky to have you here today. Thank you. Excited to welcome you inside our store. Are you ready to get to shopping? Let's go. All right, let's go check it out. Well, Allison, welcome inside the store. What do you think? I love it. I love the wall. Very different. Yeah. Very simple, but different. Yeah. Is it like anything you've ever been in before? No. Awesome. We love to hear that. So you as a woman, you know, what got you into this barbering industry? So I was first a stylist okay. and then I transitioned to barbering. Okay. How long ago was that, you know, that transition? About five years. Okay. And how long have you been a stylist? Eight years. So, well, you're in Miami now. Right. Yes, correct. But you're originally from El Paso, so you are back home, back in Texas. What took you to Miami? Was it the industry? It was the industry. Definitely change, opportunity. I feel like I needed to grow as an individual. So by leaving my hometown, I feel like was the best for me. Yeah, you didn't feel like you were growing much in El Paso. Yes, correct. You also do S and P. Yes, Correct? yes. Is yes. that kind of a primary thing you do now or is it tied between um, barbering? And... In between, it's a balance okay. of both um, barbering and S&P. So scalp micropigmentation is a non-surgical tattoo procedure that presents an illusion of a hair follicle. Okay. So for any male or female that has experienced hair loss. So it's a hair loss solution. How does that differ from maybe a hair transplant or any, any other solution? like? price-wise? So it varies from 1500 to 3000 Okay, mm -hmm. it's not too bad, not no. too bad. It's permanent forever, it's like a tattoo? It's a uh, last a couple years. Okay. Until you have to, you know, touch it up again. Are you primarily doing S&P most days or how's your schedule set up between My barbering? My schedule is set up from Monday through Thursday, go ahead and provide S&P. And then Friday and Saturday, I'll work at the shop, at the barber shop. So we are here at the barber plug for a reason. We're here to shop, so are you ready to go shopping? Let's go shopping. Let's do it. All right, so here we are in front of our signature accessory wall. So as a level three ambassador, it would be wrong for me not to give you an opportunity to tell us about your experience as an ambassador for them. So how long have you been apart and how has that been for you? I've been a level three ambassador for two years now. Honestly, it's been an amazing experience. Yeah. They've allowed me to grow, travel the world, inspire others, educate. It's yeah. just an amazing ride. Everything everyone dreams yes. to do outside of the barbershop, right? So you guys, you know, taking the industry by storm with your aftershave cologne. So do you have a favorite scent? I do. Midnight. Midnight? Yes. Okay. And, and my clients love it. Yeah? Why, why do they love it so much? Not only are they aftershaves, but they're also colognes. Yeah, just like it says on the bottle. Just like it says. So are you a fan of the rosé scent that you guys have? I am, but I don't see it on right. display. Unfortunately, we don't have any. It's because it sells so fast when we get the orders in, it literally flies off the shelves. In um, and out. Yeah, we're gonna have to place bigger orders for that. Now, also as a stylist, do you use any type of like, you know, styling powder or texture? I do. I love the styling powder. I provide a lot of fringe haircuts, right. so adding my styling powder gives it that nice textured look. Do you have any other favorite products, things that you know you use every single day in the shop? Hairspray. Hairspray. Definitely hairspray, yes. It's okay. good for all hair types and it gives that nice stronghold. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing all that information with us. If you're ready, we can get to the fun part and get to talking about clippers. Let's go. 
Okay, so the star of the show, aside from you, is our signature clipper wall. Now you've been a barber for about six years, you said, so what did you start with? Which clipper? Do we have them? Yes, okay. I started off with the magic clip. Okay, and okay. Then I picked up the senior. Senior? It seems like wall. It seems like everybody started with wall. Yeah, I did. So what do you use now? I use Babyliss. Babyliss everything. Yeah. Okay, what's on your station today? Today I have Low Pros. They sent me the matte black. The matte black. So yes. these are brand new, right? They're brand new. Do you love them? I love them, yes. Love them? I like the grip. Do you need another pair? Sure, why not? What sure, do you use them? Do you use them for anything specific? Or? I use these for video, for content, okay. and to travel. And then your Low Pros is just like everyday clients? Yes, everyday clients. Cool, do you need any more Low Pros? You can throw another Low Pro in there for me. Another low pro, another mm -hmm. boost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Well, you love Babyliss, so I want to get your opinion on the rose gold because, I mean, you're a female, you know, color is important. So it's funny that you mention it. Rose gold is my favorite color. Really? Yeah. So you want and some black. more rose gold on your station as yes. well? Yes. So you can throw those in there. Okay. Okay. Um, so we added three clippers. You know, is there any other Babyliss clipper you've been dying to get your hands on? You know what? Throw some Lowe's Cut It. Some Lowe's? Yeah. Shout out to Lowe's Cut It. Shout out Lowe's Cut It. Okay. So we've got, I'll take this from you so you're not holding on to it. Now, I do want to mention, you know, some other companies. Companies get them involved. So, are you? Have you tried many other companies these days? Stylecraft, JRL, Andes. I've tried these. Yes. This is what you're pointing to. These brand new Stylecraft Instincts. Yes. How do you feel about those? Too light. Too light. You don't like too them. Too light. I like, you like heavy, heavier yeah, clippers. Heavier yeah, clippers. understood. They're a little too light. The motor is. The motor. Yeah. That, I think that's their biggest, you know, benefit is that motor. But so you don't want any more instincts. You want to add a JRL? You do. You said you've heard you good things what? about them. Throw a JRL in JRL there. JRL clipper. Sure, okay. Why not? I do want to talk about SMP a little bit because another, you know, you do that pretty heavily. So what type of tools do you use when you do SMP? I use the Axis rotary machine. So is that like a tattoo gun? It is a tattoo gun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, if there's no other clippers that you want to buy, I mean, your cart's already pretty heavy, so. We can move on to our trimmer wall if you're ready. Let's go. All right. Okay, so we're here in front of our signature trimmer wall now. So like I asked you with the clippers, what trimmer did you start your career with? I started off with the wall. The wall detailers? Yes, the cord. With the yeah, wall. of course. Of course you did. And then now you're using Babyliss, so I'm yes. assuming you're using some FX trimmers. Of course, yeah. What FX trimmer is in your station? I have the gold FX. I have the matte black. Okay. I have the custom. What color is your custom? Rose gold. Rose gold. W rose gold and white and rose gold and black. So we did get, you know, some clippers over here, so you want to get the matching trimmers, matching we need boost. To, yes, definitely. Matching rose gold. Matching rose gold. Matching low pro. We can get the low pro. And now you did get a JRL clipper. So yes. the JRL trimmer, I do want to say, is very nice in my opinion, okay. especially when you adjust the blade. I think okay. you might really love it. Uh, add that to the cart. Let's throw that in there. Now we talked about the instant clipper. You feel the same way about the trimmer size wise. It's too light. You don't love it. I mean, not that I don't love it, it's just not for me. You don't love it. You it's don't just love not it. For me. Like okay, you it's love not FX. I Okay, there you go. Fair, yeah, fair, fair to say. Fair. Now, Stylecraft, they have these savers. These savers are really nice. The new black one. Now, I don't know if you've ever felt it, but what's your first impression? It's heavy. Yeah, so I love that trimmer for bulk. I mean, they all look the same. Yeah. You don't really trust them. I like the graphite. You like the mm -hmm. graphite blade on baby list? Definitely, yes. Oh, okay. I have a lot of clients with coarse, thick hair. Yeah. So that blade cuts straight through. Is that a primary reason that you like the baby list trimmers? Okay. Do you adjust the blade when you put, put it on every time? Zero, Zero gap. gap? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> baby list, of course, has their FX3 combos. Now it came out with that new matte black. Of course, the old hitter. Have you used the FX3s? What do you feel I about those? I haven't. I haven't you tried haven't? them, but you know what? We can add those of course. to my cart. Of course, they say that those out of the box are some of the hardest hitters. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to try it. Make sure you like them the way they feel in your hand. Okay. On a, you know, yeah, so this is the FX3. Of course, it doesn't have your graphite blade. It's a hitter. Ooh, it's powerful. Yeah, it kind of gives that slim line feel, you know. I'm gonna have to try these Add out. an FX3 to the cart. Add that to the cart. Right. So we added an FX3 trimmer. We, of course, added a matching rose gold, matching boost, matching low pro matching JRL. Is there any other trimmers that you, you know, you like, you want to touch on or are I'm you pretty done? stocked up. Pretty stocked I mean, up. yeah. I want to save your I think pockets I'm good a little for the bit. next five years. Of course, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to break the bank too much for you, so we can move on to our foil shaver wall if you're ready. Let's go. Let's go. So here we have our signature foil shaver wall. Now, it seems like everybody starts their barber career with the Andes foil shaver. What did you start with? No, I started with the wall. The wall? Really? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And what are you using now? Now I'm using the Babyliss. 
Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Of course, you probably got the rose gold, don't I you? I have the rose gold. You need another one to match the trimmer and the clipper. Throw it in there. Another rose gold. All right, well, uh, have you tried the FX3 shavers? You hadn't tried the trimmer. You haven't tried the shaver I haven't either. tried them. Do you mind uh, give that one a feel? I want to know how you feel about it, because you said you like heavier tools. Now, this one's pretty light. Okay. Does the weight make a difference when it comes to the shaver for Not you? really. No. No. This is nice. Yeah. You gotta, gotta add one to match the trimmer, of course. Throw it in there. Now, I want to direct our attention to these Uno, these Stylecraft and Gamma mm -hmm. Uno shavers. These are really unique, and I personally love them, use them every day. How do you feel about it? Have you ever used them before? So, I actually have all three colors. Oh, wow, you have blue, <laughs> have red, blue, and black? The, yes. Okay. I love them. These are really good to use behind the ear yeah. and for the upper lip. The yeah, nick sensitive them. areas, right? Yeah, these are super cute. I okay. have all three of them. So, I mean, these are convenient. Use them to travel. You can't ever have too I many of these, I right? I wish they had rose gold. We can talk to them about it. We'll give them a call. Allison cuts signature foil. <laughs> you need some more of these, though? You can't ever have enough. They're all three of them. In all three of yeah, them in? Them. So, have you tried any of the other shavers? I mean, do you, sh do you like shapes like these, or does you know that matter what? to you? These are really light. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably too light. Too light. Got you, so not a Never fan. Never tried them. No. I'll just stick to what I know. Okay. <laughs> well, we already added three brand new Unos, another Rose Gold, another FX3. Um, we're already breaking the bank a little much, so let's get over to our a accessory little. wall. Yeah. <laughs> we can move away from this to our accessory wall. Let's go. Let's go. So our last stop is gonna be our second accessory wall. When we walked up, is there anything that caught your eye that you know that you need for your station? Most definitely. The rose comb. gold. <laughs> rose gold comb rose set. Rose gold comb set. I'm sure you use this every day. I'm sure you love it for the aesthetic. Yes. So do you only want one or you want a couple? I'll take two more. Lovely. Anything else? I'll take some pencils. Pencils? Okay. okay. Awesome. Well, I do want to touch on our Barber Plug signature comb brushes. I'll get you, give us your opinion on these. Groundbreaking in invention. Ooh, these are nice. Yeah. I like them. I'll take a couple of these. Take a few of these. Anything else? I mean, we got blades right behind you. Yes, you, I'll go ahead and stock up on the graphite. All the graphite. Get right. all of them. All right. We got four right now. If we want any more, we'll ship it to you. Perfect. Um, any back, any bags, backpacks? You said you do house calls. Um, I'll take the babyless. The babyless backpack. Yes. So we don't have it, but we'll of course ship it to you. Okay. If there's cool. anything we don't have that you want, you can go on thebarberplug.com. Okay. Ship everything to you overnight. Perfect. Is there anything else you need before we move on and get you checked out? See that grand total? I think I'm good. You're good. Hold on. This is a nice cape. That's Mexico, right? Mexican yeah. flag. I'll take one of these. You want one of these? Yeah, why not? For the culture. All right, perfect. Well, let's go ahead and get you checked out. Okay, let's go. Okay, Allison, so that's gonna wrap up our shopping experience. I'm about to hand you off to the plug and get you checked out. But before you are a woman in a predominantly male-dominated industry, I would like to hear from you, your experience being a woman in this industry, and what would you tell other women trying to you know, be great in this industry? As a woman in a male-dominant industry, you need to have tough skin. Guys are savages, and they'll blurt out and they'll say crazy things. I don't feed into the negativity. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's irrelevant. I mean, it is what it is. That's great. I love to hear that from you. I appreciate your perspective. It's been really fun shopping with you, uh, but we do have to get you back to Miami. I'm about to hand you off to the plug. I hope you didn't do too much damage, able to save a little bit of money. <laughs> but yeah, it's been great. It's been a pleasure meeting you and uh, safe travels back Thank home. Thank you. Yo, Allison, what's up? How are you? I'm good. I saw you at Pacino's and Jay Major's event. I didn't think you would come here. Well, I'm here. I appreciate it. Shopping. Um, I see you spent the bag. Before we get to the total, though, I want to go back to the hate you're getting from men. Oh, my gosh. Is yes. this true? It is true. What's going on? Like, I don't, good question. I don't know. I guess misery loves company, so. Mm, don't worry about that hate. I mean, <laughs> you should have a man here with you paying for all this, but you know, I guess you're an independent woman. Uh, after you hear this total, though, you might want to get <laughs> Are you ready for it? There's no discount? Or did you uh, already add the discount? I mean, what do you need a discount for? You, I mean... You do S&P, right? Right. And I heard you saying like 1300 mm -hmm, to 3000 mm -hmm. And you cut two. Mm -hmm. You're with level three. Okay. So, you I know mean, what? You're yeah, right. Yeah, you're fucking... Yeah. You're right. Okay. You're looking at $2,660. Oh. Yeah. Is that bad or is that... No. Oh, that's not bad for no, you? No, that's I not know. bad. I know. See? Yeah. I knew that your pockets were deep. You're doing cash, card... I'll do card. Card? Okay. I forgot my wallet. Huh? My wallet, I forgot my wallet. Do you have your phone with you? Because we take, I do. We take Apple yeah, Pay. Yeah, I have Apple Pay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> right there. 
All right, all good to go. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming to shop with the plug. I help you take this stuff. Well, you're about to get in the Uber because you're going back home. I, was yeah. I get this like Yo, what up, it's your boy, I am the Barber Plug. I'm with Allison Cut. she just spent the bag with me. I can't wait for y'all to see. I did what I had to do, yeah, yeah. Woke up early, just another day. Kept my money in my sock when I got paid. Stay fresh, new J's and a clean fade. Always on the streets like a runaway. I never got lost, I just went astray. Running up and down, yes, look, like yesterday. I remember that, like the whole hood remember.